Hi, this is Scary Star Being with Scary's Wide World of Mystery. I'm going to be doing a reading for this upcoming full moon lunar eclipse that's happening in the sign of Capricorn. Hi Sagittarius, how are you doing? I'm just going to start shuffling now. <sighs> what does Sagittarius need to know about their love life? Oh yeah, I'm doing love readings this time around. <laughs> Specifically for their love life, please. I just feel like, it just feels like a lot of people are concerned about their relationships right now. So... I thought I would just get it out of the way and hopefully quiet some concerns, possibly. Because as a Pisces, if, if my love life isn't right, then I can't focus on anything else that I need to do. I don't have a love life right now, but, <laughs> and that's probably why, because I need to be able to focus on all of the things that I'm trying to do right now. <gasps> okay, it's starting to get warmer. Okay, I think I've got it. I'm doing a heart a heart shaped spread. It it comes from my zombie tarot deck book, but I don't I don't use the questions that they have per se in the booklet because they're written in a way that doesn't quite make sense to me. Okay. This is interesting. Okay. Alright, Sag. Let me pan out a little bit so you can see that it's a heart-shaped spread. Two of Swords is the main concern that you have or question that you have for your love life and or relationship. So, I want to say that maybe you have a decision between two, two different people, possibly. And if that's not the case, then maybe you have conflicting demands on your time, Sagittarius. Like maybe you don't know whether or not to pursue a career and or a relationship at this time. But... Yeah, for some of you, it really could be two different people that you're thinking about. And you're not really sure uh, which prospect is going to be more vi viable. Um, <laughs> this one's definitely not viable, right? Uh, I mean, they're both zombies, but... This one at least has his head intact. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and look at this guy. He's like wearing these... These really short pants. He's prepared for the floods. Um, yeah, so it looks like you might need to cut one out. Okay? Because this guy has cut... That's why this guy lost his head, because... He's cut it off, alright? 
So you need to cut out one of the options, whether it be two people and or career or love life, all right? This is how you are viewing your your uh, person or your prospect or prospects. Queen of Hazards, okay? Hazards in this deck are pentacles. So, this woman, or this queen, I should say, male or female, doesn't matter, um, she really... She really knows what she wants in life. She is sufficient on her own, okay? She's probably, she could be a business owner. Um, and, and if she's not a business owner, uh, she's probably, a, she could be a, she's mani management type, okay? Sorry. This retrograde has me a little tongue-tied, but... Yeah, she she knows and she's the type of she's the type of queen that you're going to have to come to her. She's not going to come to you, okay? If you want her, you better get up and let her know, you know, because look at she's even tied to her throne. <laughs> she's like, "I'm not moving. I'm not going anywhere. I've, you know, I've got I've got my pentacles to earn or make or whatever." Okay? She could be Somebody that's very focused on building uh, stability for herself. Okay. This is how your prospect or prospects are viewing you. Seven of hazards, so another pentacle card. <sighs> Hmm. I keep getting drawn to this doll right here with its head chopped off and even the top of the head has been cut off. So there could be a possible telepathic connection between you and at least one of the prospects, okay? Um, or you could really just want to pick their brain, pick their brain to see if you like the way that their mind works. I don't know. Okay. But it almost, I almost get this feeling like you're really studying your subject here and it doesn't really, it feels kind of clinical and cold and not very romantic. <laughs> no offense. But, you know, I guess, I guess you have to do what you got to do to make sure that you make the right choice, right? Because you don't, because if anybody hates to be stuck in anything, it's a Sagittarius. I have Sagittarius in my seventh house of relationships. And if I'm in a partnership that makes me feel suffocated or makes me feel like I'm not free, I want to flee it immediately, okay? So I under I understand that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think they, they're probably aware that you're, like, watching, you're observing them or something. They're probably very aware of it, and maybe they even feel a little self-conscious about it. Okay, here is the hidden influence in your love life or relationship. Queen of Swords. Okay, Queen of Swords, male or female, she doesn't play around, okay? She will, she will fuck you up verbally if necessary. Um, because swords are air, okay? 
and the air signs, in case this is relevant, are Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I haven't been mentioning signs because I don't think it's relevant, but I, I'm being told I need to mention the signs. Uh, so, um, yeah. And I can, I can be like that myself because I have a Gemini rising. And your ascendant or rising sign is what kind of rules how you are perceived by the world and or how you look to the world. So it kind of rules your body. But Queen of Swords, she's, she's, she's not going to call you out on your lies. She's just going to chop your head off, okay? Or if you're lucky, she'll just ignore you. <laughs> <laughs> if she feels like you're bullshitting, okay? So this could this could either apply to you or your prospect. 1111, I just saw that. So this could be a twin flame relationship, which is one that is like a deep soul connection because it's like the mirror of your soul. It's the relationship that you do almost like the deepest shadow work that you've ever done in your life. Okay? It's crazy. So this is what you want. This is a happily married couple. Okay? And I don't even think that this, that anything else needs to be said about it. You basically just, you just want to be happy, okay? I mean, yeah, she's kind of posing for the camera, but look at him. He's like looking, he's looking at her, okay? Like, look at how lucky I am. Yeah, who wouldn't want this, right? All right, this is where it gets a little weird and tricky, Sagittarius, because this is the challenge right here. Five of hazards, which is five of pentacles, okay? So, there could be an issue with finances, okay? There could also be just fears around finances right now. Like, maybe you don't feel like you're financially secure enough to be in a relationship and alternatively this can also be a card that that says uh, somebody's also afraid of being left out in the cold I hate that saying but there's no other saying that I can think of right now that would that would mean the same thing being kicked to the curb maybe I don't know but that's not, it's not necessarily the same thing, though. You know, just like left to the wayside. There you go. That's better. But I'm also noticing that there's like these lurkers right here. Okay, do you see these two faces in the background? Let's see if there's any more. I'm not seeing any more. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Let me get closer. Do you see that lurker in the way, way back? So... I don't know if maybe you guys have, some of you, not all of you, um, have left a string of jilted lovers in your wake or something, <laughs> but um, it looks like some people from your past may be um, looking in your direction and may possibly waiting for you to become single so that they can swoop in. I don't know. So, maybe you're more of a hot commodity than you realize, Sagittarius. Like, maybe you're selling yourself short in some way. I don't know. You could be selling yourself short and thinking that you're not good enough. That's what I'm really feeling in my gut about this card. This is what can help. Ten of hazards. 
So, hazards are pentacles, right? So, these people have it made, alright? This is a happy family, you know? They've got zombie help. They've got, you know, the kid, the pet, nice furniture, you know? They don't have anything to worry about. And maybe that's what you need to realize, Sagittarius, is that you don't have anything to worry about. Alright? Everything's going to be fine. You guys have Jupiter in your sign right now. That's your ruling planet. And that's literally the most benefic planet that I am aware of at the moment. Um, <laughs> that uh, Jupiter is like Santa Claus, okay? So you guys like... You guys can be like people that just expect to be given to, you know, which is fine. And you guys, because you guys are also so generous. Uh, but yeah, I really don't think you guys need to worry about anything. Like you guys are enough, more than enough. Okay. You guys are thinking that you're half, half of this, but you're not half of this. All right. You're the full, you're the full Monty. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm going to have to Google that later. <laughs> um, if you want to tell me what it means in the comments, feel free. <laughs> but this is the outcome, okay? Page of Hazards. So this is a lot about... This feels like it's a lot about... Uh, Self-worth, okay? Uh, yeah. So I think you're waiting on... Maybe a message or something. Maybe you're waiting for somebody to tell you just how much how much they value you. Okay. But if you notice this little this little page, this little messenger, he looks kind of oblivious. Alright. So maybe they don't know that you're feeling this way, and maybe you just need to say it. Okay. Don't don't wait for your mailbox to look like this, okay? With all these nasty spiders and cobwebs. Say something. Alright. Well, that was pretty quick and to the point. I am wishing you guys the best. I hope you have a fabulous full moon lunar eclipse in the sign of Capricorn. I will talk to you later. Bye!